नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू आर लाइव इंटरएक्टिव सेशन आई एम योर होस्ट नेहा डियर व्यूवर्स यूर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल अलॉन्ग विद दैट यूर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन एंड पी एम ई विद्या क्लास टेन वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट आई रियली लव दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द पोएम for n gregory from class 10th english textbook first flight and this poem is written by william butler eats and to discuss this poem and a lot of questions that i have in my mind and of course you too must be having a lot of queries in your mind with regard to the poem we have our expert to sort out our queries we have with us in our studios dr ashwini sandeep patel and ma'am is the assistant professor at ncert new delhi Welcome to the program ma'am. Thank you. Dear viewers, today you can get in touch with us through various platforms such as you can message us on NCERT official YouTube channel through the live chat box. Along with that you can call us on our telephone number. You can see the telephone number flashing on your screen right now. The number is 8800440559. Apart from that you can even write to us and elaborate message through email and the email id is flashing on your screen which is dth.class10@ciet.nic.in well it's time for us to head to our expert now and let us understand the poem for n gregory what exactly this poem has for us in store over to you ma'am thank you thank you for uh, your kind words and uh, very good introduction today we are going to talk about a poem and the title of the poem is for an gregory and as you told the writer of this poem or poet of this poem is w b eats uh, his full name is the william butler eats okay and if you see at the title you will get it simply indicates for an gregory means right. the poem is for an gregory so who is this an gregory and gregory is a gra- granddaughter of lady gregory then you might have question that who is lady gregory so lady gregory is a close friend to william butler eats and therefore the present poem is addressed to lady gregory's granddaughter and okay so this is all about title of our poem let us move ahead see for and gregory i told you about this title so here poet wants to convey something to an and he wants to convey something to us as well so before going to dwell deep into the poem let me ask you a question all right okay so you have to think and reflect on this question which is more impressive external beauty or inner beauty and why well it's a very important question and i believe it's a very much th- thought provoking question where we need to think about what exactly we prefer well uh, ma'am if you were to ask me this question i would go for inner beauty in a person because that is what that makes all the difference uh, this is how we uh, develop the liking and preference for a person i believe okay so generally when we ask such a question immediately your response is like the same we prefer inner beauty but what happens in reality we get attracted by physical beauty That's physical right. attributes and we give importance to outer beauty right now but here uh, if you ask me same question then inner beauty of course answer is the same then why inner beauty because you know inner beauty first of all try to understand what is inner beauty inner beauty means your inner qualities okay so that may include your um, honesty your faithfulness your empathy then uh, being true to other people and true to oneself as well right and um, the way you interact with people the way you handle uh, people around you all these things uh, show your inner qualities absolutely right, ma'am. right ma'am okay and how your inner beauty gets reflected it is it gets reflected through your smile even your gesture even your physical uh, movements or body language when that plays very uh, vital role in our personality and uh, we can show our inner beauty as i told you through our interaction through our um, way of handling people so the way you behave with others 
okay that matters most and why this inner beauty is important because I think inner beauty it is a permanent thing for that person okay uh, outer beauty may change at any time okay we can change physical appearance right now it is in a transient in nature it is temporary physical beauty and therefore we should go with inner beauty and the present poem uh, is dealing with this theme it is uh, talks about finding out true self inner beauty okay i hope this is clear to you absolutely ma'am the introduction was fantastic let us proceed with the poem now yeah so uh, here is the first stanza and if you would like to read we will read first of all all three stanzas and then we will try to interpret them all right ma'am so i'll begin with the reading of the poem all right this is for n gregory by william butler reads here is the poem now never shall a young man thrown into despair by those great honey colored remparts at your ear love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair moving on to the next stanza but I can get a hair dye and set such color there, brown or black or carrot, that young men in despair may love me for myself alone and not my yellow hair. And this is the last stanza of the poem, children. I heard an old religious man, but yesternight declare that he had found a text to prove that only God, my dear, could love you for yourself alone, not your yellow hair. Wonderful. So, students. Uh, we have just recited the poem and thank you Nehaji for reciting it. Let us now interpret this is the first stanza and uh, you know as you got it there are only three stanzas in the poem and each stanza is, div uh, each stanza is having six lines. Okay? So, uh, what poet says here never shall a young man thrown into despair by those great honey color rampas at your ear love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So, what poet here wants to confirm here we just if you observe the poem it is a conversation between two people right now in the first answer you may have observed there is a speaker and the speaker is trying to tell something to somebody and at the initial as we discussed the poem is for Anne Gregory the uh, speaker here is talking to Anne Gregory and telling her something giving her wise lesson here. So, let us uh, let us um, go through it and let us know what poet wants to tell to Anne he says never shall a young man thrown into despair uh, by those great honey color rampas at your ear love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So, as we get it, it is a conversation between two people and uh, the tone of the poem is conversational tone. There are dialogues and these dialogues help us to get uh, theme of this present poem. And this uh, speaker and uh, this uh, lady, young lady, uh, they are arguing about true beauty. Okay, and uh, here the speaker tells young lady means that is Anne and it is message for all of us. It is not just only for Anne, it is for all of us and we should learn for something from this present uh, composition. And speaker tells uh, that young lady that young men are thrown into despair by the honey colored hair. So, here honey colored hair that symbolizes beauty. Okay. And if you know the word, meaning of the word rampart, rampart is a wall which protects fort. Okay. So, uh, the wall covering fort that is known as a rampart. So, here rampart is uh, metaphorically used here for the lock of hair. Okay. And a poet here wants to say that your honey colored hair that is a symbol of your beauty and young men they generally get attracted by your honey colored hair and what happens due to that they love your this beauty this outer beauty and they fail to love for yourself ok and that is why he says that it is not possible that someone would love you uh, for your inner qualities and people get attracted by the outer looks. So, this is the explanation of this first stanza and here the speaker conveys something to that younger lady and they argue. Here the speakers, speaker tells something to her and let us see what she replies. She says, but I can get a hair dry 
and set such a color there, brown or black or carrot, that young men in despair may love me first myself alone and not my yellow hair. See, she is brilliant and she answers like that. Ki, uh, what will I do? I will change my hair color. It's simple, it's easy. And I can turn my hair into a black or brown or carrot. Carrot means red, reddish color. Okay, then what will happen? That honey color that will disappear and then maybe I will uh, able to find true love who may love me for myself alone for my inner qualities and not for my outer looks. So ma'am, is this the reason that Anne Gregory wants to color her hair? Exactly. That she is looking for true love? <laughs> exactly, right. So what Anne wants here, she wants to change her hair color because her hair color is working here as like a rampart, means like an obstacle. People are not able to see real beauty true self of that lady why because of her uh, physical beauty and that's why she wants to change hair color and uh, wants to look you know uh, unattractive that what will happen then she thinks that then i will get true love or people or some young man will love me for myself alone so is it true that uh, the girl in question over here and Gregory, she is making all possible efforts to attract people who can love her. Exactly. The way she is. Mm -hmm. What is important uh, in our life, uh, finding out true love that matters most. And physical beauty, as I told you, that may, um, it is temporary it and it disappears yeah, it, with time. It fades away, it disappears. And the person who loves for your inner being or for your inner qualities will be always with you. So, and here wants to change her color she doesn't want to look attractive at all she says that i will change her color and then a young man will love me for my true self okay so this is the uh, second stanza of the poem where and replies to the speaker and here is a discussion as uh, we already discussed that lady says that uh, she can change her her color she will uh, dye it in a, into a brown black or carrot and this is the argument between the speaker and this young lady. Okay, and so young men will not fall into despair and uh, they will love her for herself. Okay, so she wanted them to love her for what she was and not for her appearance as her hair color uh, shows right now. Coming to the third sandha here, again the speaker replies to Anne and he says, I heard an old religious man, but Esther Knight declared that he had found a text to prove that only God, my dear, could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So this is again the speaker tells a young lady that I have heard an old religious man. Old religious in the sense somebody who knows about religion or God. Maybe and some soothsayer some, or yes, some yes, kind of a saint. Yes, a saint and he knows the true nature of uh, you can see universe and he is wise enough to guide and so the speaker here is giving reference of that wise person and he uh, tells uh, this lady that I heard an old religious man but Esther night, Esther night means here previous night, yesterday night only ok. I heard that man and he declared, he told what that he had found a text to prove. He has uh, with him a text that proves what? That only God, my dear, could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So here we get a pessimistic note. Though the lady is ready to change her hair color, even though the speaker says that it is highly impossible to find out a person who may love you for your inner qualities. Because why? Because generally human beings are unable to see the inner self and they, they get attracted by outer beauty and that is beyond their understanding. These young men get captivated by physical attributes and it is highly impossible and poet or the speaker tells uh, the lady that only God my dear could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So who can see that true self 
only God. Only God has that capability to love you for your inner qualities and no any human being can love you for your uh, true self. This here I feel it is a pessimistic uh, note or tone of the poet though Though the lady is ready to uh, take all the efforts to change her look and uh, look unattractive, may say, even though the poet has his firm opinion, no, you will not get true love. Okay? So, this is the poem, it is a short one, but it contains a, a very important and valuable message for all of us. If you have any query, you may ask me. Okay? So, as we discussed, uh, he gives reference of old religious man and uh, he has a text, text means something original document to prove that old man has something to prove that only God is capable of looking beyond external beauty and humans do not have that insight and understanding to look into the soul of the person. And so last line he says that what okay, uh, the only that only God my dear could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So, only God has that capability, only God can love human beings for their true self. Okay? This is the message of the present uh, poem. Let us know something about uh, poet even because uh, he is the creator, he is the writer, he is the soul behind this composition. Uh, he is known as Irish modernist uh, poet and dram dramatist uh, and uh, W.B. Yeats, he was born in 1865 in uh, Dublin and in 1890 he met Lady Gregory who supported uh, his project regarding the Abbey Theatre. And he is uh, well known for writing great poems and amazing scripts for plays even. And uh, you know uh, his contribution is uh, can be uh, we can uh, see his contribution what he contributed to literature. He won uh, Nobel Prize in literature and he is known as the first Irish author to be awarded the Nobel Prize in it, uh, literature. And in 1929 he died in France. Okay, so this is about our poem and about our poet. Alright ma'am, that was a fantastic explanation of the poem for Anne Gregory and I think there are a lot of learnings and takeaways from this poem that we need to focus not only on our outer beauty but we should also be working upon our inner self and the inner beauty that really constitutes the character of an individual, isn't it ma'am? Yeah, right. So. Uh, our young students or learners, they should keep in mind that the, though you look attractive or unattractive, it does not matter, it is your outer appearance that is going to change, that is uh, temporary. We should keep an eye upon our inner self, our true uh, self and our inner qualities which are going to make your personality. Absolutely ma'am and this is even more important for our learners who are studying in class 10th and other classes also because they are teenagers and they are going through a very vulnerable and yet important phases, phase of their lives where uh, there is a lot of attraction towards the social media and uh, the digital media and so many other things. They are surrounded by a lot of impressionable items and things. So, it is very important for them to not only focus on their outer beauty, but they need to cultivate their character through uh, various uh, characteristics like they can be a good learner, they can develop some extraordinary qualities in them and that is how uh, we understand the poem and the message of the poet eats over here would definitely be justified. Whenever uh, you read the poem, you need to understand what exactly the poet is trying to convey to all of us, isn't it ma'am? Yeah, and uh, so what is the moral lesson of this poem that simple, in very simple words, physical beauty, uh, nowadays what happens in our digital media that uh, young men get attracted by the outer looks, physical beauty, but oh, God has the capacity, ability to look at your inner self, your qualities and what is going to matter at the end of our life, your qualities. So, whatever you are going to earn in your life and uh, you are going to succeed in your life, it, all these qualities will help you to be a good human being. You know, be human beings, we all are human beings, but very few people, they uh, behave like being humans. Right. So, there is a wide gap between um, human beings and being human. So, our journey is towards 
being human and uh, for that we need to have certain qualities we need to have compassion empathy kindness truthfulness honesty right now and these are i think uh, true uh, jewelry or uh, essence of your personality which uh, gives you uh, a different type of character or uh, gives you a different sort of identity and we have to work on that instead of looking at uh, outer beauty again one more thing then when we get this is the phase where we get attracted by multiple things so here also we have to keep in mind that we have to look at the person's true nature and uh, this is the uh, about finding out true love don't get attracted by just physical or outer outlooks you have to always work for your inner self or you have to look others inner qualities uh, inner qualities as well okay i hope you understood the poem and absolutely, let us absolutely ma'am that was a wonderful explanation of the poem and we had a great discussion on how the theme is important here when we talk about the poem uh, is there anything else that uh -huh, you would like to tell our viewers ma'am yeah here are some questions in a uh, just 2 minutes we will go through these questions and try to understand whether we have got this poem or not so first is the what is the color of the rampas of the young lady and options are golden honey silver brown so as in the poem we talked about honey color rampas you have to keep in mind so honey uh, honey is the answer second how will the young man react to seeing the honey color rampers he will be thrown into happiness he will be thrown into despair he will be thrown into confusion or he will be relaxed so in the very first stanza we got it he will be thrown into despair what does the girl want to be loved for her hair to be loved for herself to be loved for her appearance or to be loved for her wealth so see uh, loved to uh, to be loved for herself okay so these are some questions i hope you enjoyed today's discussion thank you i thoroughly enjoyed the session ma'am it was so wonderful to discuss the poem with you and i'm pretty sure all our viewers have definitely enjoyed learning about the poem for n gregory by william butler reads thank you so much for being here ma'am it was a wonderful time with you thank, thank you, you so thank much thank you so much well dear viewers that is the end of the session but uh, before we part ways uh, i would like you to take a look at uh, the program schedule that you will be watching after a certain time over here you can you can see on your screen from 4 to 5 pm you are going to uh, view a program you are going to watch a program on the topic parenting controls and monitoring after that at 5 pm you will be watching your favorite program sahyog and the topic for the day is going to be usage of social media and after that at 5:30 you will be watching uh, your favorite program and the topic will be school leadership and development well with that we have come to the end of this session i am again uh, hoping that you have loved watching the session today and you're definitely going to revise and reread the poem so that all your doubts and queries can be sorted out in one go on that note it's time for me to say goodbye to all of you keep learning keep uh, and stay tuned to our channel so that you can get a hang of all the subjects and all the lessons that we bring to you every day and this is neha signing off please take care of yourself i'll see you in a while namaskar